Well, after so many of you guys requested it, the vlogs are back to the normal time. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just don't worry. Just don't even worry. Yo, 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 what is going on, Team Twitter? I hope you're all super well. We got Jay here, mate. Hey, hey, where are yo. we going? Tell us. We're about to go watch the uh, Brawley Town. Against? Accrington. Accrington? I can't even say that word. Accrington... Oh. Accrington Stanley. Ac <laughs> Come on, man. And you actually know some of these players. Tell us about it. Well, last year I was... I basically trained full-time. Right. With the first team, so... Decent. You can see some old faces. Yeah. What do you reckon the score will be? Ah, uh, Crowley will beat him. You think? Yeah. Wow. Accrington's up, up there on the table, though, but I can Crowley beat him. Yeah, Crowley have had a good run of form, haven't they? Yeah. Three or four on the bounce. Well, the last couple of games we've got to watch. Yeah, the quality of football being quite good. So. Yeah, I rated it. The one that we went to last, which was probably two weeks ago. Yeah, that was a really good match. I love the football that was being played by Crawley, as well as was it Barnet? Yeah, it was. Yeah, they were playing some good football. Yeah, they're trying to play from out the back. It wasn't all long balls. Or something so like yeah, that. and it's raining today. So with the conditions, it's going to be interesting to see how both teams decide to play. Yeah. So I'm gonna say Crawley one nil. I'm saying two one. Two one. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what happens. So we're heading there now. I'll try and get a bit of the game footage so that you guys also get an idea of what the style of play is like. Because I think it's really interesting to see how they play week in, week out, as well as the conditions against different teams. I'm keen. Let's go. Let's go. What are your thoughts on the match so far? I think we're playing good football. I think so too. Yeah. It's a decent game. It's enjoyable to watch. Probably a 2 0 up. Two goals by Enzio. Yeah. That's what I'll say. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get back into the match now. The second half is about to start. So, yeah, my prediction was wrong. Are you still on track? What do you say? I said 2 1. So maybe. It can still be. I'm not. I, I, I lost. <laughs> Okay, so what just happened? The guy tried to clear it, hit his head, and went in the goal. 2 1. <laughs> well, at least the score's on track now. Yeah. Oh my, I'm gonna try and put a clip in if I can find one. My goodness. <laughs> Game is over. What do you think of the match, man? Yeah, it was decent. Bro. It was decent. It was a good performance by both teams. You got you could guess the correct score. I did. Where's my prize? So <laughs> this is the field. We got some players there. I don't know if you can see, but they're actually doing extras because they didn't get on, so they're doing that extra work. But have a look at this pitch. This is crazy. We were just seeing the stands, just like, man, I wish we could play yeah. or just train or something. Because you're back to training this Monday, right? Monday, yeah. Because yeah. Jay had concussion, I should be back. 
end of this coming week. That's the plan. Anyway, we're gonna head home. It's so cold. We'll yeah. catch you later. So we're back from the game, and because Jay told me it was at Accrington, I already kind of knew this, but I know that you guys would be really interested to hear about Jay's time there, because you were training with the first team, right? The first team, and then also the 18 sometimes as well. Yeah, right. So I'm also interested to hear, because you only briefly told me like a couple of times saying, oh yeah, I was with Accrington, it was a good experience, but yeah. I'm sure these guys would love to hear what it's like to be in that professional environment because Crawley Town under 23s, it's good, yeah. but Accrington Stanley first team is obviously a whole new level. So yeah. what would you say the biggest difference is between say a semi-professional team or even just an amateur team mm. to that professional environment, whether it's the team training or even just in the dressing room, yeah. what, what would you say? Well, it's like the setup, like you turn up the training with a, just a bat, really, and then they give like you... Like just your boots? Yeah. Yeah. bag and your shampoo and your towel, if you didn't have one, have to use one of their towels, and you just grab your kit and go in and train. It was very simple. Usually get in at about 9 o'clock. Yeah, how long would the day go for? Uh, so we get in about 9 o'clock, um, and sit around probably for about an hour and a half. I'll go to the gym or go on like a bike. Yeah. Um, and then we get on the bus and then go to the train ground, which is about five minutes from the stadium. So you all go together? No, so that who I was going with was usually on the, the bus. Right. So the goalkeeper coach. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, everyone else drove or whatever, and we go to the train train ground. How long was the training? Uh, depended on like if they were playing during the week or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Average. Um, probably two two hours. Two hours. And did you find a big difference, say, in the things they worked on? The, the standard, obviously, I think that's just a given that it's going to be a lot faster. We'll get into that. Yeah, we'll get into that a bit later. But what would you say the biggest difference is in terms of the actual training? Was it more possession-based? Was it more about the tactics for the weekend? Um, I think it's very similar. Right. Um, the main difference would probably be, so let's say you have a game on Saturday on the Friday session. Mm. It was basically a shape session. So they'd pick the starting eleven. Yep. Everyone know what the roles were, and then they'd pick a bunch of other players to basically play against them, but play as if they were the other team. Yeah, yeah. So they know what what they're about to expect. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. obviously at that level, the coaches are analysing the other team and seeing, okay, this team's playing a long ball. This is how we're going to work on it. But mm. I think would you agree that it's even more detailed? It's not that they just play long ball. It's more they like to get it over to the left hand side to mm. play a long ball diagonally mm. to the right winger and that's the trend that they saw so it's just... also like targeting players as well so yeah. just knowing which play to play against and where, yeah, how they're going to play at that yeah. level do they have like match analysis people? Um, the coaches sort of do it themselves so the assistant right. coach basically runs the, the team as far as the training and all that sort of yep. stuff and you, I'm pretty sure he anal analyses the games Yeah, yeah. Um, and takes it to the manager and they have obviously a discussion between themselves and Days. then they take that towards the training session and just apply it. Yeah. So we very briefly touched on it, but I want to hear more about your thoughts about the differences in the actual training. So the players, yeah. was it like, how much faster was it? Like, what was the real difference between that lower level and then the League 2 standard? Definitely first touch is a big thing. Yep. Um, so we would train on a 3G pitch. Okay. So as you know, 3G pitch is very easy to have your first touch. Yeah. But I'm sure some of the grounds in League Two aren't, aren't the best grounds in the world. Yeah. Um, so you got to be be up for anything. So everyone's touch has to be on point. Um, it's pretty much first touch and give it straight away. Yeah. Um, that's the way they like to play. Um, physical battles were, were quite interesting. There's some big boys. Yeah. Um, How did you go against that? Like, what did you find the best thing was was to do when you're up against? Because obviously you're yeah. a bigger player. Yeah. But I assume you're a lot younger than most of them, so yeah. you would have struggled a little bit. How did you deal with that? Well, when I first came in, it was more of a confidence sort of thing. Yeah. Whereas like, I went in thinking, okay, I'm, I can cop a hit from this person. Yeah, yeah. They look about the same size as someone. I usually go in for a tackle, and then you don't realize how strong they are. Because mm. um, they're men. Yeah, they are, and. It's not, not a bad thing, it's just a growing experience and you learn from it and you get in the gym and you start bulking up. Yeah. And, yeah. Would you say that it came down to you being stronger in the sense of gym work or you learning how to use your body in the session? So whether you protect the ball more, what, what do you think was the biggest point that you needed to work on in that sense? Um, aerial jewels probably. Right. Stuff like that. Um, and also... So obviously I'm playing right back. Yeah. Wingers trying to turn you and stuff like that. They're not all nippy wingers. They're actually quite strong. So yeah. Not letting them roll you as a centre back or a right. Right. Back so well. yeah, it's a combination of being strong and 
understanding how to use your body. Yeah, or you can also get around it by being first to the ball, things like True. that, getting around the, understanding around the game. Ball. Yeah. What sort of stuff did you do? Were you just training? Did you ever get a look into the first team? Were you, how often were you training with the first team? What was, what was the go? So I was training with the first team probably for the first four or five months, pretty Damn. much exclusively with the first team. Very much got there in about October. Right, yeah. Um, never really got looking. This in. is October last year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Very, oh, not no, yeah, months. like 2016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, bear in mind, I, was, I wasn't signed on or anything. I was literally just there training with them. But that's decent. I rate that because you're learning and you're given an opportunity to train with these very good players. Yeah, well, I improved a lot. Yeah. And then from that, I was able to get the looking down at Crawley and then mm. that's why I came down here. So it's really good experience. Right. And did you ever play games? Were you part of an 18 squad that played in a competition? Like, where did you get your game time? So, I played in Wales for a lot of the season. Yep. Um, so, I was playing on the Saturday for a team up in Wales. What, what division was it again? The, it's basically the Championship of Wales. Yeah, yeah, so second, division. second yep. Um, and then I was training with Akaton full time during the week and then going to their training in Wales at night. Damn. Yeah. That's commitment. Yeah, How long did it take? It was two to three hours there and back. Yeah, that's was, commitment. Yeah, it's pretty full on. I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's an overview of Jay's time at Accrington Stanley. We're going to get you on a hashtag Ask Tweety pretty yeah. soon. So make sure you leave your questions down below. It can be anything related to that. And you were at Leicester as well? I was on trial last year. With what team? The under 18s when I was 17 or 18. And, and who did you play in two touch? Uh, Riyad Mahrez. Riyad Mahrez. Wait, didn't you get a point yeah, against him? Did you get a point? Oh. <laughs> That's another story for another day. <laughs> hey. Alright, so make sure you leave your questions for Jay down below. That should be coming out pretty soon. Thanks for that, mate. No worries, man. Alright, ladies. Ladies, 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 ladies. Signing off. Now it's time for a cool workout. Change my top. Just because this is one that I don't really wear because I don't like it much. So this might be the cool workout top. Although it's just going to get sweaty. Anyway, need to smash this out. I've been getting messages from you guys saying that this one is like the worst that you've done. And you've actually had to modify it so that you can complete the circuit. I've told you guys this is going to be the complete killer cool workout program. And it's not too late to jump on the hype. All you have to do is follow me. Do the cool workout that I do every second day and if you don't start now I'm going to get stronger and stronger and stronger and I'll be doing more reps with less rest time and you guys won't be able to follow but the ones that have started Looking you're gonna be there with me you be at the top Damn. gonna be dead. So that took about 8 minutes 45 seconds. That's what it is. It's a lot of hard work, but it's only for a short amount of time. But you just need to get it done. You need to push through it. There's times there where you just want to stop, but you just gotta push yourself through it. So anyway, Team Tweety, so now make sure you leave a like and share, subscribe if you're new out here. Join the journey, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Listen, listen.